Hello everyone! Welcome to Math Corner. In this video, we will divide polynomial by trinomial using synthetic division. Let us begin. Example number 1, 2x raised to 4 plus 9x cubed minus x squared minus 26x plus 12 divided by x squared plus 2x minus 4. We need to express the polynomials in standard form. Since the dividend and the divisor are already written in standard form, let us write the coefficients of the dividend. If there are any missing terms, we will write 0 as the coefficient. And the coefficients are positive 2, positive 9, negative 1, negative 26, and positive 12. We will write these lines since we need 5 rows. This is row 1, this is row 2, this is row 3, this is row 4, and this is row 5. For the divisor, the leading coefficient is 1. Since the leading coefficient is 1, let us look at the coefficient of x. The coefficient of x is positive 2. We will write the opposite of positive 2, which is negative 2, on the left side. Next is the constant term. Constant term here is negative 4. We will write the opposite of negative 4, which is positive 4 on the left side. And this is the setup. Let us divide. Bring down the first coefficient in row 5. And bring down the second coefficient in row 3. If we multiply negative 2 by 2, we will write the answer in row 4. Negative 2 times 2 is equal to negative 4. If we multiply 4 by 2, we will write the answer in row 2. 4 times 2 is equal to 8. And then we will add 9 plus negative 4 is equal to 5. Negative 1 plus 8 is equal to 7. And then we will repeat the process. Negative 2 times 5 is equal to negative 10. 4 times 5 is equal to 20. Let us add 7 plus negative 10 is equal to negative 3. Negative 26 plus 20 is equal to negative 6. Next, negative 2 times negative 3 is equal to 6. 4 times negative 3 is equal to negative 12. Let us add, negative 6 plus 6 is equal to 0. 12 plus negative 12 is also equal to 0. Since the degree of the dividend is 4 and the degree of the divisor is 2, if we divide x raised to 4 by x squared, the answer is x squared. And it means that the degree of the quotient is 2. The first number in the fifth row is the coefficient of x squared. 5 is the coefficient of x. Negative 3 is the constant term. And the last two numbers will form the remainder. Since they are both 0, it means that the remainder is 0. And the answer is 2x squared plus 5x minus 3. Example number 2, let us divide 4x raised to 5 minus 12x raised to 4 minus 6x cubed plus 16x squared minus 10x plus 3 by x squared minus 3x plus 1. They are both written in standard form. Let us write the coefficients of the dividend. We have 4, negative 12, negative 6, 16, negative 10, and positive 3. For the divisor, the leading coefficient is 1, so let us look at the coefficient of x. The coefficient of x is negative 3. Let us write the opposite, which is positive 3 on the left side. And for the constant term, the constant term is positive 1. Let us write the opposite, which is negative 1 on the left side. Then, let us divide. Bring down 4 in row 5, 
and bring down negative 12 in row 3. 3 times 4 is equal to 12. Negative 1 times 4 is equal to negative 4. Let us add negative 12 plus 12 is equal to 0. Negative 6 plus negative 4 is equal to negative 10. Let us repeat the process. 3 times 0 is equal to 0. Negative 1 times 0 is equal to 0. Let us add negative 10 plus 0 is equal to negative 10. 16 plus 0 is equal to 16. 3 times negative 10 is equal to negative 30. Negative 1 times negative 10 is equal to positive 10. Next step, let us add. 16 plus negative 30 is negative 14. Negative 10 plus 10 is equal to 0. Next, we have 3 times negative 14 is equal to negative 42. Negative 1 times negative 14 is equal to positive 14. Let us add 0 plus negative 42 is equal to negative 42. 3 plus 14 is equal to 17. The degree of the dividend is 5 and the degree of the divisor is 2. If we divide x raised to 5 by x squared, the answer is x cubed. Therefore, the degree of the answer is 3. And 4 is the coefficient of x cubed. 0 is the coefficient of x squared. Negative 10 is the coefficient of x. Negative 14 is the constant term. And for the remainder, negative 42 is the coefficient of x. 17 is the constant. And the answer, 4x cubed plus 0x squared minus 10x minus 14 plus negative 42x plus 17 over the divisor which is x squared minus 3x plus 1. For the final answer, we have 4x cubed minus 10x minus 14 plus negative 42x plus 17 over x squared minus 3x plus 1. And that is how to divide polynomial by trinomial using synthetic division. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching.